Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on Newton's law of motion. In our previous video we talked about Newton's first law of motion which states that an object at rest will remain at rest and an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Today we will discussing Newton's second law of motion which is one of the most fundamental principle in physics. Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied to it and inversely proportional to its mass. In other words, the greater the force applied to an object, the greater its acceleration will be. Conversely, the greater the mass of an object, the less it will accelerate under the same amount of force. To understand this concept better, let's take an example of car. If we want to accelerate a car, we need to apply force on it. The amount of force required will depend on the mass of the car. A heavier car will require more force to accelerate than a lighter car. Once we apply the force, the car will accelerate in the direction of the force. The acceleration of the car will be directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to the mass. We can express this relationship mathematically using the formula F is equal to ME where F is force applied, M is mass of the object and A is acceleration produced. Let's try to understand this with an example. Let's say we have a ball with mass of 1 kg. We apply a force of 10 Newton to the ball. Using the formula of F equals to ME, we can calculate the acceleration of the ball. F is equal to 10 Newton, M is equal to 1 kg, so A is equal to F by M, that is equals to 10 by 1, and that is equal to 10 meter per second square. This means that the ball will accelerate at the rate of 10 meters per second squared. So, to sum up, Newton's second law of motion tells that acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied to it and inversely proportional to its mass. This law is used in areas of physics, from understanding the motion of planets to designing the rockets and cars. I, I hope this video has helped you to understand this important concept better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video on Newton's third law of motion. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also follow us on um, also follow us on your Instagram for latest updates, behind the scene footages and pre-post updates. And at last, follow us on Cura where you can ask any questions from students and teachers present there.